constant throughout um, all of New Zealand. I call Erica Stanford. Yeah, I'm uh, pleased to take a, a short call on the Conservation Infringement System Bill at committee stage. I'm going to be talking to the tabled amendment uh, that Sarah Dowie has put on the table as well. Um, I want to thank the Minister for uh, taking a call to explain her position. Uh, I guess that the crux of all of this comes down to fairness and consistency, and you've heard those words a number of times. Uh, the National Party's position around DOC having the power to issue infringement notices uh, is that we are quite happy with them doing that. In fact, as you heard, Maggie Barry uh, instigated all of this in the first instance because DOC are one of the only major compliance agencies without an infringement system. And we believe that they have the ability to uh, issue uh, notices in, in a fair manner, objectively, and with consistency over the country. Um, they are state sector employees, they are under one umbrella, they have uh, training, uh, and they are able to control their officers so that, and monitor them so that they are issuing notices in a fair and consistent manner. The problem that we've always had, right from the beginning, was with Fish and Game, a completely different organisation, having the same ability to issue an infringement notice. And the issue that we've always had is with fairness. We are concerned with the confidence that the public have when they are out on the estate, uh, when they're going about their recreational uh, activities, the confidence that they have in DOC uh, and in Fish and Game uh, being fair and consistent across uh, the infringement system. And we don't believe that with two separate organisations issuing infringement notices that you will get that. And the Minister explaining to us today about the safeguards in the bill and having the national policy statement is not enough, we don't believe. Um, we still think that the employees of, uh, oh, sorry, the fish and game rangers uh, are not state sector employees. They are not, uh, they don't have the same uh, training. They don't have the same um, level of uh, consistency across the country, and we are worried about the fact that the public will lose confidence. So you may have, in some instances, where DOC are applying the rules consistently about people who are camping in the wrong place, uh, and fish and game officers uh, you know, might take that a, a completely different way. Uh, so we're worried about the public and how they feel about the infringement notices being issued in a fair and consistent way. Uh, what I'd like to ask the minister specifically is how, you know, I, I know that um, Minister Sage said that there would be a review after a year, but the, I can imagine that there are going to be many complaints during, um, you know, the first year that this is implemented, for example, where we get people who are on one hand being issued an infringement notice and one another being issued um, a warning, where we can see inconsistencies across the country um, and how that's going to be dealt with. Um, I, this SOP, um, brings us back to a position that we can all agree on. We are quite happy with DOC uh, and their ability to have an infringement system and to issue that, those notices fairly and consistently. They've long advocated for this and uh, Maggie Barry, uh, the Honourable Maggie Barry, uh, instigated all of this. Uh, we're quite happy with them. The issue that we've got is with Fish and Game and this SOP will bring us back to a position where we can agree um, on, on the legislation. This addition of Fish and Game is the main sticking point. It was in select committee. We don't believe that the uh, safeguards in the bill are good enough. We do think that there is going to be a, an erosion of public confidence in the system. Um, I think that there are going to be lots of complaints, um, and I would like to know how the Minister is planning on handling that. Um, the SOP that's on the table will remove all of, all of the um, references to fish and game, taking it out back to what we had in the first instance, which is a bill that we can all agree on. Um, and uh, if the minister could get up and let us know how she's going to handle the, the complaints and the potential before that end of year review, um, that would be much appreciated. Madam Chair. I call the Honourable Eugenie Sage. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um